Uh, let me welcome Martin Georga to our video series about members of St. George's Anglican Church in Berlin. Martin is a retired theology professor from Universität Bern in Switzerland, who has moved back to his hometown of Berlin uh, relatively recently. And I have three questions for Martin. The first is, what attracted you to St. George's originally? Originally, and that was 25 years ago when I was working in Switzerland, but uh, having my children in Berlin, I was commuting back and forth. And I looked for a lively church uh, for my children to participate. Um, and the German churches somehow did not uh, satisfy that desire. What in the long run attracted me uh, was that in St. George's you can find um, the whole specter of the universal church in a nutshell, so to speak. In, a, in, in one church building, you have members of the church from all five continents, from all, all races and ethnic backgrounds, from all uh, from affluent to poor people, um, and uh, not the least important, people of all ages, from a retired person like me uh, to young people. Um, and that was fascinating, not only for my children at that time, but has kept me uh, in that parish for a long time now. Um, and as you had said in the last years, I've been um, back to Berlin for sure, and um, I've been a regular member of the parish. What attracts me also in the long run is, of course, and that's the main reason I stayed, the Anglican form of service, which is um, a good mixture of um, um, precise liturgy in the traditional uh, Western sense, my, mo, most likely um, as in the Roman Catholic Church, but also it has a lot of elements of free Protestantism. And finally, I was kept in the church, attracted first and kept in the church by an excellent preaching of um, the chaplain who is um, the main pastor, but also the assistant pastors. Invariably, I get a lot out of those sermons, which are a lively witness um, to uh, the Christian religion and personal witness of those uh, people uh, in the pulpit too. Thank you, Martin. I think many would, would agree with you about uh, why uh, the, the uh, church is attractive. I certainly like the sermons. Second question is, what is your involvement with the congregation? Well, you said I'm a professor of theology, so my gift of um, being somewhat knowledgeable about the history of the church and theology in general, I could put into the parish life. Uh, I have been leading groups uh, on theology, on the Bible, that in many churches you have Bible study, and we have that in form even of groups who meet in different homes of different people. Um, so that um, there is a private atmosphere to it. We also have in our church, and I've participated in that, the, in, during Lenten time, during the time before, the weeks before Easter, uh, a special form of study groups, uh, which concentrate on reading one book together and then exchanging about it, um, or choosing a topic and talking on that in a series of meetings. I have been engaged in the services. Um, I love to sing in the choir, uh, which does not um, require a professional training um, in music, uh, but is uh, not only fun, but is a way, a good way of expressing uh, your thanks to God uh, in singing. Um, and then I have just um, given a helping hand in so many uh, activities of the church, garden work, uh, cleaning the kitchen, and so on. Thank you. Um, it's, it's important for us all, for everyone to be as active as possible with the congregation, and you have certainly played an important role here. Why should people, this is the third question, why should people support St. George's financially? Uh, very simple, because it's a self-supporting church. So it uh, lives on the support of the members and the friends uh, of this parish. 
It is not funded as um, German churches usually are by state taxes for the church. It is not funded by the Church of England, which is the mother church of this parish. Uh, but the Church of England has a policy not to fund uh, the parishes abroad. So they have to live on um, what is collected by the members. And for that, it is necessary to pledge uh, a regular amount of money, otherwise um, even a small parish like St. George's with about 150 members cannot really have a budget, cannot pay their pastors a decent salary and so on. So I do it once a month, a, a large amount, uh, others do it uh, on a monthly basis and of course um, as in any other church we have collections every Sunday in the services. And, but that really is necessary to keep the church going and uh, Everyone, I think, in the parish has a sense of um, contributing either by working for free for the church or, or by giving money. Both are valuable ways of sustaining the parish. Thank you. Um, we also give uh, regularly every month and also put something in the collection every week. Um, yes. And I think many people do this. Uh, thank you, Martin, for this interview. I think uh, this is one of the important contributions to our parish life. And uh, I'm, I'm very pleased that you were willing uh, to uh, talk with us about it. Yes. We'll end the, we'll end the, the recording now.